Hey y'all, Carol Norby here. You're on my Stamp and Carol Lots of Crafty Goodness page, or you're on my YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago, we had our monthly uh, meeting for our Tucson Stampers group called Salsa, which means Stampers at Large Stamping Away. And uh, it was our annual birthday party for the club. It's over 40 years old. So we had a lot of make and takes, and one of them uh, is called the Double Diamond Card. I have made a few of these. I think I may have taught it at the Arizona Scrapbook Store, AZ Scrapbooking, when it was still open. Um, and I have I even looked back on my videos. I thought, did I make one of these on a video? Nope. I did do what was called a Double Diamond Pop-Up on September 29th, 2021, but I hadn't done this one. So a couple of the gals in our group asked me, to do one. So here we go. So I'll flip the phone over and we'll get started. Hang on. Okay. Everything will be on this page tomorrow along with the template, but this is the card. And it stands up. And it was a lot easier than you realize. The, hard, the hardest part was two of the score lines. So I will show you what I did. This is my template. This will be on my website tomorrow. This is 10 and 5 eighths. It's important, 10 and 5 eighths by four. You're gonna score it two down the middle. Then you're gonna score it two on one end, flip it around, score it two. This is where it gets tricky. So at the four inch mark, you're going to go four, score two, three and one eighth, and then three and one eighth back to four. Flip it over and do the same. This gets a little tricky. So here's my card. Can you see it? So here's it's ten and five eighths by four. I'll make sure that's four. Yeah. Sometimes measurements look weird. And I scored down the middle, scored my two at, at two and two. Then four to three and one eighth and back. So you're going to score or you're going to fold right down the middle, just like that. These ends, you're going to score down. Now, when you come to these, you just have to play with them so that they'll score, they'll fold up. So when it's all said and done, there's your, that's about what it looks like. When you bring it together, it just has a tendency to go right. Now, I, I must have done something wrong on this card because it does not match. So who knows? So anyway, here's my card. Now, this square here is a, I'm looking for my directions here, two and three quarter inch square. You can see it just, you center it, put the diamond tips on the folds, and there it is. Now these little squares, they're two inch squares. So I cut my pieces, and I played with this. So this is a directional print, so it's a little more tricky and I use a lot more paper. So these are one and seven eighths. And I stuck them on there. So what I did, I cut out my square that I needed, the one and seven eighths inch square, and laid it on my pattern paper. So here's here's a bunch of my leftover pieces. <laughs> and then the same with my big square. I cut my template and laid it on my paper so I could get the direction going. Now you can decorate the back or leave it to write on. But isn't that cute? And this stamp set is from the Rabbit Hole Designs. It's called Caffeinated Flamingo and die. I purchased the die separate and I used Caffeine Makes Me Flamazing and I, I stamped it all in one and then I cut it. So that's all actually just one stamped and then cut to do what I did. 
And that's that's basically the card. Now, if you're wondering, will this fit in an envelope? Yes, it will. Here's your standard A2 envelope. Fits in here. Just barely. You can see the ends just, just barely. Just fits in there. So that is my card today. Isn't that cool? Now for this card, since this is going to be my swap card, got a little leftover piece from the die, I had to decorate an envelope. So I took some of these corner pieces I had left over, made them the same size and glued them to the <laughs> glued them to my envelope. <laughs> so <laughs> that is my card. <laughs> so anyway, I'll flip this back over. I hope I hope you give this a try. Like I said, it's these it's these angles that are are tricky. I I marked I marked my measurements on my paper with a pencil and erased them all. So I don't think you really can't see them. There would have been a pencil mark right uh, right there. Ah, oh, you can it's right there. If that you can just see it. Uh, maybe not. I can see the eraser marks. <laughs> so that's my card. I hope you give it a try. This is this is not that hard. You just got to play with your measurements. Play play with getting that score correct. It it uh, it's a little difficult at first, and then all of a sudden it just wants to pop to, into the right position. So that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I've got a bunch of cards to make for spellbinders, so <laughs> they're due tomorrow. So anyway, y'all have a great day. We'll catch you hopefully next week. And God bless you. Bye-bye.